Some months ago on my channel, I'd done a video on simple ways to elevate your looks. I thought this was important because looking good is good business. When you look good, you're actually very confident. And then when people see you, that's the first impression they have of yourself. However, on today's episode, we're going to be talking about ways to level up your life personally. So this is nothing expensive, nothing crazy deep. It's just simple things you could change you that'll make you lead a happier and more fulfilled life and i've also cut it down into six simple points so if this is something you think you'll benefit from please keep watching Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Stephanie and I'm a London-based content creator. I make videos in fashion and lifestyle, travel, food, etc. On today's episode, as I said in the intro, we're just going to be touching six simple things you should be accessing in your life just to make you a more fulfilled human being. So the first thing, identify the problems or places you're lacking in in life. Like, is it just simple things like, are you always late? You always procrastinate when you have things to do. Your relationships, are you someone who always sees the bad side of things and never highlights the good side? Just little habits like that. Identify them and actually own them that, okay, come, these are my problems. Because once you own these things, it's actually easier to solve it. So sit down now, get a pen. You can even pause this video and just think, what are the places in my life I think I'm lacking or I, maybe people complain about or I don't even like about myself? You can just write this, identify my problems down if you want to keep watching the video. The second one is small changes. It's very, very scary when you identify your problems and then you instantly just say, okay, I'm going to stop this, I'm going to stop that, I'm going to stop this. Let's say you're someone who just drinks anyhow and then it just makes you behave somehow and then you just all of a sudden say, I want to stop drinking alcohol. You do it small, 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 small changes will make it more fulfilling. Pat yourself on the back as well when you make these small changes, when you notice that come, when someone says be here at 2.30, you know, I'm already on 2.25 and I'm there waiting. That's a small change because once you do it the first time, you see how beneficial it is. I know sometimes Africans will make you regret going somewhere early, but just instill it in yourself because you're bigger than where you are right now. You're still going to go to better places where your discipline and attention to detail and punctuality is actually going to mean so much. So just little changes like that, try and inculcate it and then... Pat yourself in the back where you know, yes, I'm actually changing. You can also give yourself ac accountability partners who can track you and then like, just share your success stories with them just so you know you're becoming a better human being. The third one, which is a very big one, which I kind of learned from one of my really good friends, Larry. Removing things from your life that do not serve you. Trust me, the only thing we came to serve is God, Lord by God if you're Christian and then you're the God of your life. You know, whatever it is that is God to you, you know. Is the only, the only thing you should be serving. If you have friends, situations, platforms that are stressing you, that are not adding value to you, that are not adding positivity in your life, let them go. I was one of my friends who had left social media and um, I just didn't see the person on Facebook or Instagram anymore. It was really quiet. I had to ask him, uh, uh, what's up? Uh, what's happening? And I was like, these things are not serving me anymore. That was, that was epic to me. Like when something is not serving you, you let it go. No matter how cool you think it is or no matter how important it is, is other people, check yourself. Is this thing adding value to me or is taking more than it's, it's adding? Cut it off. Hey, you need to cut it. Cut it. Cut it. It could be friends as well. It could be conversations with people. It could be watching a certain thing. It could be listening to a certain thing. It could be going somewhere that you just know it's not adding to you. Guys, take it off. Your mental health is way better than any cool kid or any, you know, unnecessary trend in the world. Then the fourth one is just accessing, okay, yes, you've now notified yourself of the problems you have. You've started making small changes. You've cut off things that are not serving you. So what are those your goals? What are your small term goals, your big term goals you want to achieve? Access all of them. My husband always tells me that once you write something down, that's the beginning. That's the first stage of it being manifested. Write your goals down, however crazy they may be. Just write your big goal down. Then the small goals that are going to let you achieve that one, write it down as well. It could even be when you wake up in a day or let's say a week, you just have a plan for this week, Monday. At least by this week, I should have achieved these following things. If you're that organized, you can actually break them into the different days. What am I going to do today? What am I going to do? Once you do these things, you tick it, you tick it. Because you even see that, come, I I'm actually doing it. Like, you'd actually be impressed with yourself that you're actually achieving things you are set out to do. Don't just think about things and leave it in your head. Guys, your head is not the place to keep ideas and thoughts. 
go into your notepad of your phone you can even like me i now have google docs which is something that's so amazing like you write you don't because you know with the notepad things can easily delete but on google docs you can write things you know your headings write them down okay goals for this week Clap for yourself when you do them. You access your goals, write your goals down and seek them as you achieve them because it, it gives you better um, fulfillment. The fifth one is you just being serious about what you actually want. So when I say being serious, I mean by putting actual uh, actions towards them. You want to do this, you want to do that. Have you had that conversation? Sometimes it might even just be chatting up with someone to just ask them something. Have that conversation. Once you do that, that's some action. You would have to be accountable to yourself to go back to follow through. You know, you, you okay, you have a new business, you want to create some marketing um, products for it. Go into Vista Prince or wherever it is they create marketing. Open an account, design what you want, or tell someone, can you help me design? Like, put action to what you really want. Like, you're serious about something, put some action to it. Putting some action to it kind of locks you down. Except if you want to be a person of just talk, 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 or someone that lacks integrity. You're not that kind of person because you've solved that issue in the beginning. We've, we've cleansed that habit in the beginning. So write your goals down. It makes a huge difference. My argument was, okay, am I writing it down on my phone or am I writing it on paper? Because the other day I carried my journal to write something. Because it was very well just wasting my time. It wasn't even writing well. That's why I just went to get Google Docs. I was like, okay, please. Once I put something down here, because my notepad was looking, this thing deletes so fast. But with Google Docs, it looks like, okay, yes, I've actually written something down. And that kind of helps me, yes, look at my goals eyeball to eyeball and then start working towards them start being serious about them another way to be very serious about things is also knowing why you want them so maybe when you write this thing write the reasons why you actually want them because you might forget the reason later so you just write the reason why you actually need this thing or why you actually want to achieve this goal that could help you be accountable and yeah work hard and put more action towards it my sixth point guys which is kind of like a general overall just mind clearing tip is expectations reduce expectations you have from human beings from situations that you cannot control let's say spending money before it has even come to you someone said oh there's a way platform that's going to bring money or you're expecting one money it hasn't come you already finished spending it you now realize that it's not even going to come you now almost want to die so just reduce your expectations human beings are though we have reliable people who but when it's not you even yourself someone really don't trust yourself enough you're not trusting somebody you get so even if it's someone that's supposed to give you something let's say your best friend now owes you friendship or owes you your i don't even know your parents they will just reduce your expectations it's always better when you're not expecting something and it comes and you go oh yeah it happened than when you're there expecting expecting now for your hand you'll not be like a uh, disappointment people that you know say plenty of unnecessary things guys reduce your expectation generally with things you cannot control you know with life ask god be be confident if you're a christian be confident with god demand things from god demand things from yourself but when it comes to people fine you can demand things for them but that expectation reduces it because it just helps your mental well-being so guys these are my six points that i think would help you level up your life level up your mental health level up your thoughts and your progress generally if there's any other thing you think you imbibe by that you want to share with me or with the people in the comment section please feel free to drop it in the comment section if you haven't subscribed yet please do the ones who have subscribed that always come back to watch my videos i appreciate you from the bottom of my heart i'm gonna click the thumb up button if you don't have energy to subscribe or to click the bell or to drop a comment just click the thumb up button because it really helps my videos thank you so much for watching and see you on the next episode bye bye